Welcome once again to this YouTube channel. Today we are gonna look at how we can filter using checkboxes. I have a data set here which is has all my records right here. And all I want to do is when I click on John here, you can see John data is picked from this data set and filtered and placed right here. If I use John and Peter, John and Peter records are picked and placed here. If no record is selected, all the records are picked and pressed right here. That's what we're gonna be doing today. And I'm gonna take you step by step. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And let's jump into it. So the first thing we're gonna do, we need a unique list of these names. So what I'll go, I'm gonna use the unique function, come here, specify this function, this range here, drop the end reference, press enter, it's complaining because there's no room to display the list here, but I want the names across the rows. So I'm gonna use another transpose function to transpose the column into a row like that. You need to use both the transpose function and the unique function. The unique function gives me a unique list of the names and the transport function transforms the column into the row as seen here. The next thing we're gonna do is to insert checkboxes, go under insert, press check boxes. Now, let's think about what we're gonna do. I want, because I'm gonna use these cells as a basis for my filtering of this data, I want to ensure that when I select John, Let's remove that. I want to ensure that when I select John, John appears here. When I select Peter, Peter appears here. When I deselect all of them, nothing appears there. Now, when these names appear here, I use these ones as a basis for filtering this data. So let's get the names here when these checkboxes are uh, ticked. Now, when you click on a checkbox, you're gonna see this is true. When I click on this, it returns true. When I deselect it, it goes into false. So those checkboxes have values of true and false. True when they're ticked and false when they're not ticked. That's what I'm gonna use as my condition in the filter function. So I'm going to say filter. What do I want to be returned? I want these names to be returned on the condition that these boxes are checked when I can say equals to true. But even if I leave out true, we have seen that when the checkbox is checked, it will return true. So I close my brackets like that. When no checkbox is selected, I get an error. Let's see when we select one. There you go. Peter is select. John is selected. Peter, Mary, Tom, Anne. This is what I want. If I deselect that, deselect, deselect, then you have only Tom as selected and it comes right here. Now, I need to eliminate this error and made that error simple, use if error function and close it in that filter function, boom, error is gone. Good. The next thing we're gonna do is, if I click here, I have John, okay. How do I filter out John from this data set using values in this range here? Okay, fine, I can say filter, I'm gonna show you two ways. Then I say, what do I want to be returned? This is the data I want to be returned, filtered based on a condition. And the condition should be that this column here 
equals the column of names equals the name placed here. Do that, boom, works, John is selected. However, if I put Peter, no Peter comes into down here. Now, it means that I need to adjust my filter function here, because currently it is taking consideration of only this cell, but I need to bring in all these cells. There are two ways of doing it, but the second one is, is better. So I'm gonna show you the better way. So I'll come back here and say, okay, this one will not work. Let's go with what will work. We're gonna say filter function. What do we want to return? This is the data I want to be returned, comma, based on a condition. My condition is the names that are along this row here. So how do I go about that? What comes into mind is the match function. I say match, comma, what do I want? What is this search key? The search key will be that these names here, comma, I'm searching these names against the range. Against the range I'm gonna place here, Got it, comma, I want an exact match. I put a zero, close my bracket there of the match function, close my bracket for the filter function. Press enter and there you go. We have John and Peter in there. Good, can we, okay, check it. Nothing is selected, we have an error. At the end, I'll deal with this. When nothing is selected, I want all the information to be filtered and placed here. Good. So if I check Mary, that's fine. I select Tom, that's fine. Select Anne, that's fine. I select two of them, they're here. I select three of them, working quite fine, all of them. That's the first part of this exercise. The next part of this exercise is, I want if any of these is not selected. I don't want this error. What I want is all the names here to be loaded and here. And by the way, this data doesn't need to be on this sheet just because I'm doing a video and to make it easy for you to visualize what's going on, I decided to put it on the same sheet. This data can be on a different sheet, but everything else will be the same. So instead of selecting from this sheet, you will select from a different. Sheet. Okay, now let's bring in ensure that when all these are not selected, then I want all the data to come through. Now, how do I test and know that nothing is selected? One way to do that is to use the counter A function. I use counter A and specify this range here. So when I specify this range, when nothing is selected, you can see I have a zero there. When I select John, you can see I have a one. When I select two, two comes here. In other words, using this counter A and the filter function, I'll check, I'll undertake a logical test where I say, if this count is zero, it means nothing is selected, but any other case, whether one or two or whatever, then you'll know that something is selected and therefore run this filter function that I currently have. Great. Now, let's use the if function. I'm gonna copy this. Remember this one is for all other cases when you have something selected. I'll cut out that, 
let's see the if function and my if function is gonna say if I count these rows and they are equal to zero, it is an indication that nothing is selected. And when nothing is selected, I want the entire data range be returned. Now, to return, I open the curly braces and do something like that. I remove the end reference so that when you add more data here, your function will still work. So what am I saying? I'm saying if the count is zero, that is our logical test, then I need all the data to be returned. And this one here will return all the data. Comma. In all other cases, what I did previously, and I'll paste it right there. I showed you how to generate this. I did it previously, so I'll paste it there. Then I close my if function and press enter. Currently, Mary is selected. That's why Mary is returned here. If I deselect Mary, you can see all the data set is returned. So this is a fully functional filter function using checkboxes and it can work fine as you can see. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and see you in the next video.